Good evening, Siltman fans. Welcome to Borough Park this evening for this Northern Premier League clash between Workington AFC and Macclesfield FC. My name is James Walker. I'm here by myself here up in Cumbria this evening for what will be, I think, quite an interesting uh, Northern Premier League game this evening. Macclesfield coming off the back of their first defeat in 10 games. First defeat under Alex Bruce with that 4-3 defeat at home against Bradford Park Avenue at the weekend. And Workington on a, a good run themselves at the moment. They've not won in the last five, but they've also not lost in the last five. Five draws in a row, unbeaten in six coming into this one. 14th in the Northern Premier League. Off the back of a quite credible 2-2 draw against Max playoff rivals Ashton United at the weekend. Two changes for the Silkman this evening coming into this one. So I'll give you that Mac team news now. So yeah, two changes. It's going to be Trey Pemberton coming in for Laura Mendy, who I believe has taken a, a little bit of a knock. Dropped to the bench this evening. And it is Alex Hurst coming in for Umar Nyasu. And Luke Murphy, Laura Mendy dropped to the break off as Drummond's got a chance to get one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He gets a good shot away and it's saved and just turned wide by the keeper, Jim Atkinson. Good effort there from Drummond. Driving at the working to defence it in a low shot. Throws it into Curran. Back to Lee. Into Hurst. Curran now trying to drive into the box. Does so. Finds Duffy. Nice little flick into Rooney. Great effort from Rooney. From 20 yards out and it's just wide again at the far post. That's a good few chances that Siltman have had in the early stages of this game now. One of the best, if not the best, signing Matt made in the summer. Nearly never present in the side now. It's Mac press high and win the ball here. Curran plays it into the feet of Duffy. He's cut inside. He's got Pemberton on the overlap. Pemberton, chance to get the shot away here. Oh, and he screws it wide. Doesn't get the technique quite right on that. He's put a bit too much curl on it. It's one of them where maybe he could have done with just trying to... Again, it's a very experienced working to play. 330 league appearances for Workington. Free kick did come in at the end of the end. Ball cleared off the line. That was by Brandon Lee. Dangerous there for Workington. Best chance in the game. And now Drummond's on the brakes in a foot race here. It's an excellent challenge there from Finley Wallbank, the young right back, to stop Drummond in his tracks. He would have been able to get in on goal there. Out for a Matt Corner. So from Brandon Lee. Ball spread out to the left, intercepted in the end by Wallbank. Clatters into Lee there. Lee does just win the second challenge. Hurst now, looking for Lee on the underlap, does find Lee, early ball from Lee into Drummond now, D dummies it to Curran, Duffy with the shot in, great block in the end there from Workington, left back Joe Bunny, really good play there from Curran and Drummond, just a, you know, like a double dummy, out to Luke Duffy on the right hand side, right, ball does go long in the end, looking for their target man, Scott Allison, does win it. Good old up play. Ball goes through in the end here. Does find a working to man. He's got one-on-one -on -one with Berry. Berry just stands up really well. That's a great effort from Workington. It was their danger man, Simmington, on the left-hand side. Cut in, shot straight into Berry. He stood up nice and tall, saved it with his legs. Heading on for Curran. First time ball now for Drummond to run onto again. Drummond's in a foot race with Wallbank, and Drummond defeats Wallbank. Gets towards the byline now, coming into the box. Cross from Drummond into Kengney, misplaces it. Duffy, oh, and it's an excellent save from Atkinson. Duffy's still going, can't quite find a body on the penalty spot. And Workington clear. Chance now for Dawson to get a cross in, and the cross is claimed by Atkinson. And that's the best opportunity for Mack in this game so far on the 59 minute mark. On the halfway line for Workington. Reverse pass goes in to the feet of Simmington. It's a chance for Carroll to try and play Francis in. Excellent interception again from Brandon Lee. He's had a good game tonight, but the ball only falls back as far as Nelson. Nelson now just crossing into the mat box. Cross comes in in the end. It's a great delivery into Francis. And I can't believe Denon Francis hasn't scored there. He must have been about three or four yards out. Try and up the tempo a little bit here. Try and rally to get something out of this game. Fenson going long to Drummond this time. He's going to get up against Little. Workington do win it. Go long. But it's Heathcote who stepped in this time to win the ball from Max. Spreads the ball out to the left-hand side with Kengney. He's got good space here. Now the byline. First time cross comes into Drummond. And he can't quite steer it in. That's an excellent opportunity for Kane Drummond. From two or three yards out. He takes it on his right foot. Came across the keeper well, just couldn't get his... It's one of them where he probably needs to take it on his left if he really wanted to hit the target. 
Workington keeping the line on the edge of the box. Ball comes in. Rooney towards the centre circle. Flicks on. Heathcote rises. Back. Workington still. And it comes clear. Referee blows the full time. Workington nil. Macclesfield FC nil. And what has been, as I say, a very frustrating night for Mac here at Borough Park. Workington well worth the point. You can't say either side has really deserved to win this one. The best chance is coming for either side in the second half. First of which from Workington coming from Symington. Shot straight into the feet of Berry one on one. Duffy having the shot saved low to his right on 59 minutes as well. Another good shot coming in for him. 77 minutes, a bit of pinball from Mac in that instance. And the Mac players come over to clap the travelling fans. Excellent from Mac tonight in terms of the away following. No wins in the last two then for Mac. It's going to be another tough away day on Saturday as well. We go to Gainsborough Trinity in our last game before Christmas. If you can't make that one, we'll have mixed the comms for you then as well. Thank you very much for listening in again tonight and a good evening to you all. <laughs>